What's up friends, welcome from beautiful Dubai. Here we are in the Creek Harbor, which is a beautiful area and exactly the place where I bought quite a few years ago my apartment. So today I want to take you with me and give you an update. I did that a while ago, but now it's been rented out for quite a while. So I thought it would be nice. It's available actually, just put it back on the market for rent. So I thought I'll have a quick peek inside, take it with me, and then we we'll run through some numbers so I understand how it is you know, financially, whether it's worth it to invest or not. And uh, yeah, just give you a rundown and um, let me know in the comments any questions you have about it. I'm happy to answer. So here's the entrance, as you can see. So it's a lovely place. Hey, was this is Tower 2 or? Tower 1. Tower 1, uh, the other side then, yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, there are actually two towers. And uh, funnily enough, I bought one unit in each tower. So <laughs> now we went to the wrong tower. So we have to go to the other one. So that's the one just over there. And very lovely now also. They opened a spinny supermarket, which is very good. Quite a nice supermarket over here. So that's obviously very convenient. And the cool thing, whole, the whole area really developed. I mean, when I bought this, I mean, basically there was nothing here. It was just sand and absolutely nothing. So really nice to see how quickly it developed. Now you have hotels here and a lot of people already residents here. It's very peaceful, I would say. And they're gonna build way more. Right now we're only on the island. They're gonna develop way more in the back of it. And it's gonna be a huge mall and, and so on. So yeah, and the cool thing is it is pet friendly. So you see a lot of dogs. Obviously we're having a dog, so I'm really happy about this. And yeah, definitely nice to see that. So here we are in the second tower. Let's pop in there. All right, so we can see already some doggies here. Hello, doggy. So here we are. Let's look. If there's anybody. Hopefully not. Oh, excuse me. No, I'm just joking. It's empty and look at this. Nice and clean and spacious. Very nice. Lovely, lovely. Okay, let's have a look at the view here. All right. There we are. Obviously you can see still a lot in progress, still a lot uh, that is being done and constructed over here. But overall, definitely much more active and busy than it used to be. So I remember when I came here last time, a lot of the towers here, they didn't exist even, even in the back there. So basically this whole island over there, what you can see, it's all going to be developed as part of the creek project. So this is just the island part. So it's really the smallest part actually. And um, yeah, you can see down here is the pool also. There's a gym with this. So really some cool amenities. And uh, obviously the more you know, places come around here, you know, the more, the better the living quality, I suppose. There will be a mall as well. So, yeah, more shops coming. So it's definitely becoming more and more desirable, livable area. Right, so basically, yeah, I mean, I don't know how you call it. Some people call it one bedroom. Some people call it two bedroom, depends. But basically, I'll call it, I guess, one bedroom. This is the living room area. And here you have the bedroom where the magic happens. And uh, yeah, I mean, quite nice floor to ceiling windows. I really like it. Obviously, a little cupboards here and there. Nothing super fancy, but really clean, nice, and obviously, um, yeah, I mean, gets the job done. The whole thing is, obviously right now, is not furnished, which I had the option to furnish, but honestly, you know, once you furnish, then there's wear and tear, and you have to be careful of things, you know, uh, you know, being dirty, and that handover, there's always a headache with the tenant, so and that's a little bit uh, annoying, obviously, so you don't want to have that. But in this case, I'm quite happy not have it furnished, oh sorry, there's no electricity somehow, but in, in principle, maybe you get, a, get an idea. Ah, I understand, it's disconnected now because otherwise somebody would, well, that somebody would me pay electricity, but they disconnected it. Here's a little storage over there as well. So honestly, for a single person or a small family, you know, I think it's really a very good option. I mean, I think when we look at the uh, pricing it offers at this stage, currently it's on rent for 95,000 dirhams, which of course right now the rents are really high. They really went up in recent times. Obviously, since the last few years, they really went up. When I bought it, actually the real estate value of that apartment 
kind of stayed flat for a while then dropped even so in the beginning when i bought literally i think it was more than 10 years ago there was absolutely nothing i mean somehow i was a little bit naive i would say you could call that and um, but it was such a good deal when i bought it from emma which is you know one of the biggest you know developers over here and in my eyes quite trustworthy you know the ruler himself he is invested it's a publicly listed company so you know quite trustworthy as i said so that's why i put my investment here there was a very favorable paying plan and i didn't have to take a mortgage i was basically financed by the developer which is really cool so i didn't have any interest payments on that and yeah so that made it really easy and actually i thought wow that went so nice immediately i bought a second unit um, so again a little bit naive maybe at the time but now in hindsight i'm really happy with it because the value of it really went up quite a lot and the rent yield is actually extremely high as well i'm gonna have to run the numbers but i think i'm looking now at eight to nine percent net yield i mean that's outperforming the s p 500 in terms of rent income plus i have the capital appreciation on top so that's not factored into this really really good investment actually i'm looking at around 1800 to 2000 euros per month net for the apartment for rather small space i think if you convert it it's around 69 70 square meters so not that big to get such a rent for an empty apartment in europe is quite tough actually so yeah really really nice and uh, yeah i'm quite excited and the cool thing is i actually have an agency run it for me they take a small fee for doing that so i don't have to be involved whenever a tenant wants something or what have you they don't call me they call the agency and they do all the thing they rent it if it's empty so i didn't have to bother or worry about this so really nice i got a full report of all the things that were broken that the tenant had to fix so really really lovely and for me it's definitely worth it especially if you have more than one unit I don't want to be bothered by all the calls and so on and they collect the check also the cool thing in the UAE is a lot of the places they ask for one check so people pay one year of rent in advance which is really cool you obviously as the owner will know that the tenant will stay for a year and you have the money right away right and usually if it's a one year check it is a slightly lower rent if people decide to pay every month or more commonly on a quarterly basis then the rent is a bit higher because there's a higher likelihood that the tenant might move out but in my case i got an annual check which is really quite nice actually so when i bought it a couple of years ago honestly i have to check exactly how many years i think around 10 or 11 years but it was around 250,000 euros at the time and um, yeah so basically now i could easily sell it for around 350,000 so each one went up by 100k um, so the other one as well so that's really nice and once again unfurnished without doing anything and in the meantime it obviously pays me the rent so yeah i was thinking about selling it or not but right now as the rent is quite good I'm trying to log in another annual rent. The other one is rented, otherwise I could show you that as well. So I'm probably trying to get this one rented as soon as possible as well. And the great thing of having those two units actually allows me to get access to a golden visa. So obviously once you wanna live here in the UAE or wanna have a business, you need some kind of visa. And there are different visas you can apply for, but arguably one of the nicest and best visas you can get is the golden visa. And there are various qualifications that you can have to get there, but one of them is if you're an investor. And the threshold to get it is 2 million dirhams worth of real estate. And funnily enough, those two together are just literally over that threshold. And that's why I could now apply together with my wife to get the golden visa. And that will allow me to reside here for 10 years and a lot of other benefits as well. So yeah, that's really cool and a nice benefit of owning real estate. So that's why I'm a big fan of it. And of course, you know, once you live here, you're based here, you know, the best thing is you don't have to pay any tax on your rental income. Plus, if I was to sell it one day, I wouldn't have to pay any tax on the income. If I'm obviously a full-time resident here and not living more than half a year elsewhere, then it would be absolutely tax-free, which is really quite attractive. And of course, I forgot to mention when I bought it, it wasn't actually built, right? It was just being built. So it only was completed, I believe, two years ago, and then I've been renting out. So if I consider the growth in two years from you know being ready to what it is now, it's around a 40% increase in value. So that's really quite substantial. So I shouldn't really take the initial date because you know it's not fair, there probably wasn't open. So within two days, it appreciated by 40%. So that might not be normal. Obviously the market has been booming. It might also cool off a little bit. And I think it will be eventually. And that's totally normal, right? Markets go up and down in value. And Dubai is probably one of the most volatile markets out there. But in the long term, I really see this appreciating even more in value. I mean, Dubai has the goal of reaching, I believe, more than double the population it has right now by 2030 or 2040 not mixing it up to reach almost seven and a half million population now that they're around three and a half when i moved to the first time in 2005 it was around 800,000. so it's incredible the growth obviously people need to live here and that's one of the nice areas for people to come and enjoy the life and one of the amazing parts of buying real estate in dubai is many of the developers and there are various developers out there they offer a payment plan so that's usually when you pay every few months to them or every month depends what it is but basically until construction finishes and then there's even post plans so you can pay five years even six years after the building has been complete and that way you don't have to take a mortgage through the bank you pay directly 
to the developer and that way you don't have to take a fancy mortgage and pay high interest because right now obviously all of us struggle with high interest rates in Europe we took a mortgage now for our apartment in Lithuania and that's very expensive almost six percent right and here I didn't have to take that so that was a great thing and allowed me actually to pay it off much further and now I don't have any mortgage on it and obviously the rental income is pure profit so to say so that's really helps and honestly if you buy off property off plan which that was at the time that basically means when the building is not existing it's off property you buy it you get a developer finance and that can really help you to save a lot of money down the road so yeah as you can see definitely a nice place and really so good to see the neighborhood really coming alive last time I was here it definitely wasn't so lively and yeah a lot of people said oh my god it's just gonna be another neighborhood that's gonna not really succeed but well guess what it actually did and uh, it's off to the good start honestly so far what I'm seeing I'm liking it and honestly obviously we are now considering to moving here ourselves for longer period and I'm thinking where to move and definitely it will be one of the areas I would strongly consider. I mean, there's so many nice areas now in Dubai, but honestly, this one has a very chill vibe, you know? It's not so stressed, it's very pedestrian friendly, you can walk everywhere, it's not too big, it's not too small. You're starting to have more and more, you know, places where you can eat and so on. Of course, the big malls and so on are still missing, but at the same time, that's also nice. That means not so many tourists are there, right? Because if you have too much shopping attractions, then it means all the tourists are coming. And I mean, guys, look at this, I mean, absolutely stunning over here by the harbor very very lovely area really really gorgeous loving those views as you can see quite a few little restaurants here very chill vibes i mean yeah super super nice and i think it's uh, definitely yeah nice place to come spend the evening after a day of work so i think it's going to be a very desirable area for people to rent actually when i spoke to the agency they said yeah they have a lot of requests here a lot of people trying to get an apartment here so that's nice obviously that's good for the rent of the place in the future and they're even connecting now to the Dubai Creek so you can come with the water taxi even here and commute around so that's very very nice as well and uh, yeah you can see over there Bush Khalifa the tallest tower in the world you have the whole skyline so honestly in terms of view is really really nice if you have any other questions about Dubai real estate in general pop them in the comments below I get back to every single one of you and if you want me to make any other videos on this topic, I'm happy to do so in the future. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Stay healthy, get wealthy. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Guys, I just had to show you this place. I mean, this is absolutely epic. Beautiful. Look at this skyline view over here. What a place. What a place. I mean, Dubai never disappoints. Just views for days. Absolutely love it. That's actually the old site over there. I think started. And the transition. <laughs> and you can see the future over there. Really lovely. That's it guys. Ciao.